Welcome back to Dracon's Place, Bloodborne. Okay, let's see, what were we up to? Alright. So we talked down Vicar Amelia, and we made it through the Forbidden Woods. Got it. So that's what we were up to. Let's give another try to the Dark Beast Parl. See if we can take him down. Um, we're significantly stronger now. I say significantly, but we're much stronger now, so hopefully we can do it without much of an issue. And hopefully we don't get our throats cut like five times like last time. Because that sucks. There we go. Okay, let's see. Much better. Much better. Damn it, I didn't not want you here. At least I can take you down without much of a problem. That's encouraging. Okay. Let's see now. Can we take this beast down? I mean, we've done pretty well against bosses. I think the one that's given us the hardest time so far was, um, our friend, the, um, Shadows of Yarnum, who I just... It was the last ones I beat. Oh, visceral.
Got ya! Nice. Spark Hunter badge. Cool. There we go, that's a good start. And these gates open to old Yarna. Spark Hunter Badge allows us to buy the, um, Bolt Paper and the Tronitris, which we already have. But it also gives us those Echoes. Welcome, Hobbit. Very well, let me... Good, that is... That's a level and a half on this account. I have 10,000 remaining on the dot. Really? And I need 21. Farewell, good hunt, mate. Okay. That went surprisingly well. Fortifications. We're up to the bloodstone chunks. Let's see. Don't think there's anything super good we can throw in here. No, not compared to what we already have. Rune-wise, we have a decent setup so far. Okay. That went well. Now let's see. What does that... Oh, right, right, right. Before we go advancing, I want to use the shortcut through the Forbidden Woods to, um, yes. I want to use the shortcut in the Forbidden, forbidden Woods to the secret place. So we want to do that. Good, good, good. Alright, so we're going to do that in this episode. We'll go from there. this way. We're going to go back through this way because it's a tad faster for what we want. Good. Okay. So it shouldn't take long to backtrack through here. better. Ow! Walk into the fire, what it, don't I?
Okay. Not too bad. We're already like there. Good, good, good. Oh, that's right. We also have the Tunzel Stone in that entire room. Anyways, now we go up the secret route this way. This is going to be fun. Okay. So, we'll be coming upon a different type of hazard than anything we've currently faced. Good, we have plenty of those. So at this point, I need some... I need stuff with good, slow poison resistance. Which looks to be the white church guard. Yes. At this point in the game, the white church guard because we need the high poison resistance because we're, we're going to be wading through a poison lake. Should have equipped some lake runes before I came in because there's ones with poison resistance. Alright, so this is the Cathedral Giant. Stone Shard, Frenzied Cold Blood, alright, so this bit starts getting tricky. So we want to lure him back this way. Really? Okay, we definitely got his attention. Another one bites the dust. Alright. So you want to avoid being in the poison log. Crazy little noodle guys attacking you in through here, too. Alright, just have to be careful. Take your time.
Come at me. One. You know you want to. Some more of the noodle guys over there. Okay, just gonna wait for my poison to diminish. When that bar fills, you will get poison. Alright. Good, good, good. So now this tunnel sweeps back around to the other side, close to where the giant was patrolling. We want to be over here, so that way we can get to that body. Okay. <laughs> we already have enough for another level. And good. Okay, so now we're clear of the poison bit. That's not the last time we'll see that particular mechanic. That was the wrong way. This time you go up here. You notice we heard the sound of a bell. There it is again. Which means we're close to another area. Jeez. Alright, so now we climb up this long ladder. <laughs> that poison's still sticking with us, huh? Nothing in this little room. Nothing for it, but to go up again. Now we're obviously not in the same type of place as before. And... We arrive in another area entirely. Now we're going to open up this gate. Which puts us right outside of the clinic at the very start of the game in Central Yarna. So, cool little shortcut, right? Except, alright, I'm gonna need that because we're getting up to a guy that's annoying. There's another gate here which leads us to the back side of the clinic where we can get to some areas we have not yet been. This part sucks. So we have one of these guys. insight from you. Alright, we got a madman's knowledge. Alright. There we go. Where, where is it? There it is. The ladder is easier than this. But anyways, you proceed up the ladder, which brings you onto the roof of the clinic. You have some more pro friends to deal with. Okay. Nothing that way. All right. Now we're inside of the clinic. We want to take a left. So if you remember in the Forbidden Woods, we um, had that guy who I said was very tough. 
who I didn't want to deal with, so instead we sent him to the clinic, and that was him. He got turned into a horrible monstrosity. Now, Ophisca, however the heck you say her name, is not a bad person. This is an imposter. So anyways, I'm just going to go over this way. To trigger some packs. Ah, moonlit scents. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... Oh well. So you want to try my hand on a hunter? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I... am going to leave... because I need her later on. Yes, yeah, so that's an imposter, not the real one talking. There's the door where we came in. Now we go around the other way. You do not want to fight her yet because she gives an important item if you wait. And that was the real one right there. So that's fun. So we just got the Karhar Summons, which gives us access to another area in the game. These doors... Yes, those doors there... Lead us back to the first lamp. Alright. There we go. So that's the lamp we used at the very beginning of the game. So that was all a cool little shortcut in secret stuff. So out of that, we got a rune, a communion rune, which I believe is the one that allows us, yes, to carry more blood veils. That's quite the upgrade. Like normal, repair that up. I don't think we got any super amazing ones. Not that we can use anyways. We do, however, have a level up in us. Possibly two? I would say probably. It's, it's gonna be a little short. Yep, it's short. Welcome, what is very well, let me. Yes, we're so we need twenty two. Farewell, good hunt. So we need like five K more. Okay. So next time Um we have two more Yes, we have two more secret areas to choose from. And then we also have, um, so we have two more secret areas to choose from, and obviously we have the main story to progress, so next time I'll have decided which way we're going. So I'll see all of you guys later. Bye! Why is this in the first course? <laughs> and just like this, harder your levels. Nice! Beautiful perfection. I was aiming straight for him. That was perfection! Are we gonna have to save Bowser? Black! <laughs> Black! Well, this guy's weird. Oh, and all of Bowser's minions. And Luigi. Sheesh. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. Blah <laughs>